time is valuable and we take up a lot of it. Uh, and so we want to make sure that we are uh, as smart with that as, as we can be. For those of you that don't know, I'm Kyle Leon. I'm the head boys basketball coach here. This is my sixth year as the head coach at Pine City. Um, first and foremost, I want to thank all of you that have come. Um, I look at this from six years ago when we started when we had 17 people sitting in here doing this first meeting and now we are at over capacity. So it's, it's uh, humbling to see all of this. I'm very grateful for all of you that you do as parents and as families to help us accomplish the things that we want to accomplish with your sons. Um, and we're very excited to have them. They've been working hard, those that have been with us for the first two days. Uh, and I know that we, uh, we use lots of the time and um, we ask a lot of them, but we're, we're very excited for what's coming. Coach C is our athletic director. He is actually going to start the meeting off, and I'm going to finish the meeting, and, uh, and then we'll be around to help you with anything you need. So, Coach C is up. All right, thank you. Hi, everybody, and hope you have a great Thanksgiving. I'm going to get done as fast as possible because I know the coach has lots to talk about. I've got a couple of slides. Number one is I always make sure that all parents and players know the hierarchy of authority. Coach Allen is in total control of the program. His assistant coaches report to him, and the players are supervised by the coaching staff. If you notice, Coach C is on top. That's only on the slide. Okay? Don't ask me about basketball. It's cool to watch. That's my knowledge of the whole sport. Okay? Next slide, please. That's my role. I make sure the bus is here. Okay? The opposing AD knows that the Dragons are coming to their school to kick their butt. Okay? I'm the budget manager basically saying, Coach Allen, here's how much money you got. Spend it. I am the school board liaison for the coaching staff. I am also the compliance officer to make sure that the coaches are taking care of their responsibilities to make sure that the team is following the Minnesota State High School League rules and the school board expectations. And also I've added the one there at the bottom because I'm getting old. I get to be the chief storyteller. Okay, I tell you it doesn't matter. We will start talking and it will get to football. <laughs> Guaranteed. Even if we're talking about basketball, I will leave it back to football. Next one, please. I throw this one up here because for some reason I always get this in the office. Connie always gets this in the office. Activity fees are based on the grade that the player is in. It has nothing to do with Varsity, JV, anything like that. It has based on the grade. If your son is in grades 10, 11, and 12, it's $40. If your son is in 7th, 8th, or 9th grade, it's $25 to play basketball. It has nothing to do with if they move them to a different level. It's all based on what grade they are. The Minnesota State High School League form, the Great Yellow Packet, it needs to be done once. If you were out for a fall sport, you already have that accomplished. If this is your four, first sport of the year, you need to get that accomplished. Communication. He's the guru. Okay? He has an excellent website. He does an excellent job with the remind system, okay? He blows up my phone with all of his texts that he is reminding his players, his parents, I'm on that one just like you guys are. He does a tremendous job. If you are not signed up for that, get on that. He does a tremendous job of making sure you know where you need to be, okay? It is the coach's responsibility to have a website dedicated, he's got a tremendous one. Make sure that you are utilizing that. You're running out of battery. Power. I don't know that. <laughs> Coaching requirements. I always just put this up here so that you understand this is the expectations I have of the coaching staff. There is a Dragon Coach's Handbook that they follow. Okay? There is a procedures that they need to make sure that all of their players are understanding. 
Severe weather. Well, we are going to get some here. It's not too bad tonight, but we are going to get some. There's a potential that the bus could go into the ditch. Okay? you got to have the clothing to wear that it could be hours before we get to you. All right? And the heater no longer works because the engine blew on the bus. Okay? Those are things that he will take care of with his team. The transportation issue coming home from Bram. All right? He's going to cover it. His coaches will cover it with your sons regarding how you can claim your son at the end of the game. Okay? Or if you want to go home with somebody else's parents. There is a procedure for this that must be followed. And the bottom part there, I like to always emphasize this to you moms and dads, I guarantee you, your son is going to be supervised from the moment practice starts until the moment they leave the school grounds. Okay, the coaches don't go home at the end of practice. They go home when the last player has been picked up or leaves the school grounds. Okay, they know that is their responsibility. Please help with that because they are family members at home waiting for them to get home for supper. Please get here as fast as possible to pick up your son so they can go home as well. Got it. Safety. Okay? Nothing brings a quicker response than when Coach Allen or any of his coaches come to me and gives me a concern that they have over the safety of our facilities. That will get a quick response. They have a great working relationship with our custodial staff, our maintenance crew. I have a great working relationship with our superintendent. Okay? If things need to get changed, they will get changed, and it will be immediate and fast. Okay? Your son, all right? They get, last year I called it the Cadillac version, all right? Pine City is the only school in the area who has the Cadillac version of our athletic trainers. Okay, First Light provides them. We have a trainer on duty five days a week. Okay, Some of our surrounding schools don't have the Cadillac version. They have a trainer on site maybe twice a week. I'm not sure what you're supposed to do the other three days. I guess you're not supposed to get hurt. Okay, we have a trainer on duty five days a week. That trainer will be at our home basketball games. Okay, we have that person here. We, the school district, pays for the Cadillac version. All right, is she here? I haven't seen that. She's not coming tonight. She has hockey years. Hockey. She went with hockey. Really? Oh, yeah, that's all. Okay. So click it to the next one if you're a good coach. Her name is Becky Huberty. Okay? She is a tremendous one. We will keep her. She's great. She works well. She's got great experiences already. She's got great ways to communicate with the athletes. She does a tremendous job. Next one. Where'd you go? Push the button. <laughs> Hey, push the button. Yeah. Now, pretty good. We talked about this last year. It is still a major emphasis of the Minnesota State High School League. Why we play. That's what they call it. Why did the boy go out for basketball? Why do our coaches do what they do? Why does our school provide these experiences? That's the emphasis behind it. Next one, please. Okay. The goal of all our programs, and especially the boys' basketball program, is to win. That's a no-brainer. Coach Allen does everything he can to help his program strive to be conference and state champions. But that is not the purpose. Okay? Where do you go? Next one. Okay? Our purpose is to help our athletes become better human beings to be better adults in the future. That's our purpose. Education is the underlying theme of everything that we do. 
Right there in the middle is my purpose statement. Coach Allen has a purpose statement. Coach Rodemaker has a purpose statement. Coach Hansman has a purpose statement. Coach Peterson has a purpose statement. Coach Britton has a purpose statement. I challenge you this season to see if you can grasp what the purpose statement of our coaching staff is. Because it has everything to do with helping our young men become great human beings down the road. Oh yeah, we're in this to win, but that is not our purpose. Our purpose is the education of our young men. Last one, Coach. And I always like to leave it with, because it is. It's a great day to be a Dragon. Have a great season. I'll be there cheering you on. And have a wonderful rest of the weekend. Great thing. Okay, my goal is to be as short as possible this year. Um, I've been known to talk a lot, so I'm going to try to be quick. Um, I sent home a huge packet with each one of your sons with tons of information. Um, I know that, but that was hopefully to keep this shorter. My goal is to be transparent. I want you to know what we're about, what we're doing, when we're doing it, why we're doing it. Um, I have no issues with that. So I sent home a lot. I know that. If you need another copy, let me know. I can get you one. Here's our coaching staff this year. Again, I'm Kyle Allen. I put my email address up there because Milo Allen's wife is not happy with getting lots of emails. So I'm Kay Allen too. She's just Kay Allen. So make sure you send them to me. Um, Jason Rodemaker is JV. He's been with me since day one in the program since I've been here. Coach Hansman is C-Squad. He's right here. He's been with me the last couple years. Monty Peterson is currently scouting for us at Williams Arena, watching the Gophers just in case. Um, so he's not here right now, but this will be his second year with us. Coach Larry Britton is right back there, second year with us as well, seventh grade. And then we have David Jackson and Mike O'Donnell helping us out at different uh, venues. We do a ton of scouting. Every team the varsity plays will be scouted at least once. We're out on the road a lot at night, making sure that we are prepared to play. Um, so scouting takes up a big portion of our time. Um, so it's great to have two guys that will help. This is from our booster club. This is the statement they gave me to read to you. Um, uh, so this is the third season of the Pine City Basketball Booster Club. Each year the booster raises approximately $10,000, which is split between the boys and the girls through support from area businesses as well as the sales of basketball fan gear. All the money raised goes back into our basketball program and benefits the student athletes directly. Some of the things the funds have been used to pay for in the past are pregame meals, travel gear and backpacks, team banners, warm-up shirts, practice jerseys, youth basketballs, digital cameras, and the supplement of the cost of the overnight trips. The Booster Club has been brainstorming ways to further promote the basketball program as well as additional fundraiser ideas. However, in order to do so, additional support from the parents is requested. The Booster Club is asking that you complete the information on the sign-up sheet so they can contact you in the event there is a need for a parent volunteer. Thank you. And Kim Jusak is right over here. And so if you have any interest in, in, in volunteering with the Booster Club or being more a part of it or just being available for a phone call if we need support or help doing something one night or they, they need help support doing something one night, talk with Kim and she'll get you any information you need. Uh, I want to hit on this again because this is really important. We don't make decisions without the coaching staff talking. Um, every decision we make, we just got done with tryouts. Um, all the boys were put on a team. Um, we, we talk about it, we debate it, we have numbers, we run them through drills, we compare, we contrast. We look back at previous numbers. Um, we take it very, very seriously. Um, and so everything we do kind of derives back to these two things. And, I, and the boys understand, this is what I've told the boys. Is it going to help you become a better young man? And is it going to help us win games? Those are the two things that we go to. So when we have to make a decision, and we, everything from are we going to feed them before games to what are we going to run for an offense to who's on what team to are we going to play Cole K this year? It comes down to these two things, and this is what we go back to. So I, I ask that you be on the same page as us, is that this is our focus, these two things. And we will not be perfect, but we will try. 
And so these are the things that we're going to come back to. The biggest issue with basketball year in and year out is playing time. And I want to be very clear. The end result of being in this program is not playing time. The end result is the experiences gained through being a part of our program. We are very proud of the things that we have done. We are very proud of the ways that we have accomplished it and the things that we have offered these young men. We want you to be a part of this program. We want you to be a part of this experience. Okay? This, however, sometimes gets in the way because these are the things that we are focusing on, not this. And I, and I don't mean to be blunt, but I do mean to be blunt. These are the things that are most important to us and these are the things that we go back to. Um, before I talk, or uh, roles, so we've talked a lot about this, the coaches have, and we thought we are doing roles for the varsity guys, and we're going to try it out, and if it goes well, we're going to do this farther on with the younger guys. So we thought this would be a nice time to talk about roles here as well. And we, uh, as coaches, we want to make sure we're making the best decisions around our purposes and our goals. As players, we ask them to participate and have a positive attitude and effort. And as parents and fans, we ask for positive support in return. Um, I had a different experience that I've never had before over the last couple weeks. I had the ability to go watch three former players of mine at Pine City play college sports. I saw Mitchell Hansman play football. I was with Noah Adams at his first basketball game, and I was with Cole Jusek at his first basketball game. Now, when I say this, understand that I mean this from the bottom of my heart. I love these kids. I love doing this job. I love these boys. We spend countless hours together. These guys have the opportunity to be with me a lot. And so I love these kids, and I grow to love a lot of these kids. I got so mad watching those games because Mitchell wasn't getting the ball enough. And why wasn't Cole in the game? And I couldn't understand it. And I turned to Wayne, I turned to Kim, I turned to Deb and, and Jeff, and I had to really take a step back. I didn't know what was going on in practice. I don't know what these other kids are doing on the floor. I don't know what Cole and Noah Mitchell are doing at practice. I don't know what the coach's goal is. I don't know what they're trying to run. And I let my own personal bias really get a hold of me. And I, for the first time, I really had that. I've never really had that. Um, so that was a new experience for me. So I, I understand a little bit more um, going back to the idea of the playing time thing. I want us to be on the same page. I want us to understand that our goal is to win games and our purpose is to help create great young men. And we try extremely hard to have those two things in mind in everything we do. We try to be very, very purposeful. Uh, and I, again, I know that we ask a lot of the boys. I know there are a lot of opportunities, okay? But we have a lot of boys out. We have a lot of boys that want to be a part of this, and we're very excited and proud that we have a lot of boys that want to be a part of this. Um, we feel like we do something very special, and we feel we do it the right way. And so we're really excited to have them here. We're really excited to have you guys here. Um, and we're really excited about what's happening with our program. The last thing, and I'll have this up at the end, Coach C talked about the text messages. I have the three here, so this is for all fans. This one is for anyone who has a player in 7 through 12, and this one is for um, JV and Varsity. Uh, where's Quentin? So Q and I were talking earlier about mistakes, okay? When I gave you this packet, I get a laugh. I, when I gave you this packet, I didn't put enough B's down here. So some of you have been trying to sign up, and it wasn't correct. So the JV and varsity one was a little wrong. I was one B short. So you, if you tried to sign up for that one and it didn't work, this is the new one. Um, we have a sign up in the back to prove we want you guys here. I want to be transparent. I want to be aware. I want to stand in front of you and say, this is what we're about. This is what we believe in. This is what we want to do. This is how we want to do it. We're really excited about what we have going here. Um, the last is our blog. And I'm going to run behind because I just want to bring it up really quick. Our blog has every information you could want. So we have a running calendar that is continually changing. Please utilize this. Almost all the questions in terms of the schedule should be able to be answered with this. On top of that, we 
we update with stories. There was my three games that I got in with the boys. Um, we update stories, scores, um, things that we think you need, everything from camps to youth stuff and everything else. So we try to put as much information up on this blog as possible. I am updating this daily. So please check out the blog and please utilize it. And I will leave this up again so that um, you can get any of this information that you need. Um, please sign the form next to your son's name stating that you were here. Sign up and blog. Again, thank you all so much for coming. We are, I, I can't express enough how excited I am, how blessed I am, how gracious I am to have this spot. I love these kids. I love this job. I'll give you everything I have. I, again, I ask a lot in return, but these boys are up for the challenge. I believe in them, and they're going to they're gonna do good things. So thank you again for coming. Please eat more before you leave. If you have any questions individually, please let me know. Thank you.